the steep house, and you have to sign up right in this little box. There's a cute little... Oh, uh, I can see them. Why are we going to the steep house? For strokes. Right, what are we going to do there? Um, we're going to send money to our school, and what? To do that, we're going to make a limit in stone stand. Okay. In stone stand, mm -hmm. and we're going to make some little heart stroke stones. Mm -hmm. ah. So you can look so wet, and you can get a free lemonade with it. Oh, and then you can give the money to people who are stroke. Yeah. That's a good idea. Wow. The strokes, the, the stroke stones, well, only a quarter. Oh, okay. Good deal. That sounds good. So, after you get in and change, there's a box right on my, the left of me. Okay. And I'll give any change for you that get. That they need. Yeah. We've been parents for about, for less than 72 hours. Mm -hmm. We had no idea what was going on. So, um, the ambulance came, they put her in the stretcher, and then. Dave drove the car over to the hospital and called our parents, and then I went in the ambulance with her. Um, she had another seizure in the ambulance, and then we um, got to the hospital, and we walked into the room. This is when I felt like I knew it was really bad, is that we walk into this room in the emergency room. This is at South Shore Hospital, mm -hmm. um, and there were 30 people in there. Uh, mm -hmm. There were, there was like, I found out after the fact, there were nurses, anesthesiologists, the NICU team, um, uh, some cardiologists, I think. Um, there was a, the um, transport team, the patient who was like helicopter to Boston, just in case. So there, there are people that I don't even know what their jobs were, but I walked in. My mom's a nurse, <coughs> ER nurse, actually. So when we walked in, we were like, it's not supposed to be this many people in here. You know, mm -hmm. this is, this is not good. Um, she had another seizure while we were in there, and then they gave her some medication to stop that. And she, her body relaxed a little bit, and she started to look a little bit better. Um, they did a CAT scan, and which didn't show anything. Um, no, that was just on the way up to the neck. That was just like the, a real quick, you know, first thing they did was a CAT scan to make sure there was no trauma or whatever, I guess. Um, and that was clean, um, so they still didn't have a diagnosis. And we got those results. Like, yeah, I mean, it was, that's that, a, another that was way that another... we knew things were not good is that, and so we were kind of like, okay, then what do we do? You know, and everybody kind of was like, we don't, we don't really know what's going to happen. It could affect her in a million different ways, or it could, it could affect her um, um, the way she thinks, or walks, or talks, or we don't really know. We just have to wait and see. And that was really hard because I'm, I'm, the kind of person that's like, all right, this is the problem, what are we going to do about it? Mm -hmm. And there wasn't really a plan for that, um, and that part was really hard to kind of just wait and see what we were supposed to do, um, and kind of react to symptoms as they came up, and it was very hard to be, you can't really be proactive, you have to wait and see what's going to be wrong, and then react the right way. Mm -hmm. um, We've already got to the separation where, you know, we only got to see her a few times when we did see her, it was, you know, attached to wires yeah, I mean, and everything he, else. Yeah, I mean, this was my first baby and I couldn't pick her up when I wanted. Mm -hmm.